My name is James Blackburn. I live and work in the American Southwest. As a result, I have the good fortune to be able to travel to a variety of beautiful locations. As a professional filmmaker, I document my life through video adventures and I share them with the world. Stay tuned as I travel through the world of movies and the beautiful outdoors. Thanks for watching the James Blackburn Experience. All right, good morning, folks. It is one of our last days here. Thought I'd get up in the morning here and do a little walkabout and just stretch my legs, uncramp my back, and uh, just breathe in some of this clean, nice air. All right, as I was crossing through these woods, I came across a skunk and I scared him, but enough to run away, not enough to spray, thankfully. He's back there somewhere. He took off hightailing it. But uh, yeah, for a brief second, it kind of startled me because I didn't expect to see an animal. And then I just saw its tail end running away from me. And you know how skunks are, they're extremely recognizable. Part of the wilderness experience is trying to find a place to use the restroom. So out here, you don't have any toilets with you, so you have to rely on nature. So I'm doing that right now. I know it's a little gross to think about restroom duties out here in the wilderness. However, it's a necessary thing that has to be dealt with. And making sure to take care of business correctly is proper. Don't leave a surprise for someone else. Always practice leave no trace standards and you'll be fine. It's important to leave the wilderness how you found it or better. That way we can preserve areas like this for future generations. Nature is amazing, and we are all fortunate to have places like this to visit. A little while later, I wandered back down to the river to take in the sights and sounds. I decided to wander around this morning and explore some of the local scenery. The sun was up, the birds were singing, and it was a beautiful morning. All right, folks, I've come to the conclusion this morning that I'm a survivor. I can survive almost anything, I think. You know, I'm not gonna let something like death stop me from surviving, that's for sure. The air was clean and the skies were clear. I don't believe we can get much better than this. I will be forever grateful for experiences like this and thank everyone that is involved that helped make this a reality. Thank you all. I can honestly say I'm in love with the Gila Wilderness. This place has grabbed hold of my heart and now it's in my blood. I will be forever connected to places like this and will continue to explore for many years to come. Look at this place. Isn't it awesome? So peaceful so tranquil so beautiful i smile when i think of getting to visit beautiful places like this the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step and i have enjoyed every single mile of it as i said before the wilderness is good medicine and i'm glad to have access to it as my good friend matt the southwest backpacker says get outside life is good there All right, good howdy folks. We are at the journey's end. So all the gear is gonna get broken down here in the tent and we're gonna pack things up into the truck. So here we go. Get your ski shined up, grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move ya. Take a sniff, pull it out. The taste is gonna move ya when you pop it in your mouth. Juicy fruit. Is and the breaking down of camp continues. Everybody's in a pretty good spot here to get broken down at a decent time and head back to civilization here in a little bit. It's gonna be awesome. All right, folks, well, we got most of our gear broken down and in the back of the truck, and we're 
just last few moments here at this beautiful awesome camp one last look at our little slice of heaven here we got a lot of swimming in here in the last few days the water over there by the rock is about nine feet deep so we're wrapping it up last of the gear is being packed and i'll tell you what this campsite behind me here looks a whole lot more lonely without all the gear in it but still beautiful nonetheless Just, you know seeing all the tents here felt like home all right yep these guys got the last of the stuff going in the truck right now and we're looking like we're a well-oiled team here all right some of my happiest days on this planet have been doing exactly what we're doing right now and that is being in the great outdoors having a few days to sit out here and relax, spend time with friends and family, and just enjoy it. Even the breakdown process, I enjoy it. The only thing I don't like is having to leave. You know, going back to the city is never something that is super enjoyable for me, but you know, it's part of life. So there you have it. So stay tuned because here over the next couple hours, we're gonna be driving out and stopping along the way, doing some short hikes. And then this afternoon, we're heading back to Silver City we're gonna have some lunch there and then maybe some dinner later and then driving home tonight when it's dark so it's not quite so hot so stay tuned because all that's coming up on the rest of this video so yeah last piece of the gear going up the family's doing a great job together awesome one quick photo of everyone before we leave this campsite goodbye campsite you served us well. Thank you for sharing the beauty of nature and giving us the gift of an amazing place to camp. On our way out, we decided to stop and investigate an old car crash site. Oh, I see it, the roof of it from here. This is better than some of the roads we've been on. <laughs> yeah. We drove on rougher stuff than this. <laughs> wow, that's definitely an older vehicle. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's lots of bullet holes in it. All right. This thing has been here for a long time though really buried and very very uh, rusty a little bit of graffiti if you want to call it that but yeah this is awesome it's definitely an old one for sure as we continued our journey back to civilization one of our vehicles experienced problems however this family is always prepared, and we're doing an assessment and would have this truck repaired in no time. Okay, I'll go grab them right now. All right, so the hose, that, that was the hose that plugged into the heater core that broke off? Yeah, the inside so, of the heater core is right there. We lost all the antifreeze on the way down here, so Roy is uh, being a MacGyver real quick here, and he's going to get us fixed up. So I'm gonna need some chewing gum. This is my breast milk. Oh. And a bread sack. All right. Success. Thank you, sir. You guys are rocking and rolling, man. Silver City next, right? All right, folks, we made it into downtown Silver City after the vehicle issue. Now we're gonna wander down here, find some food. We need to chow. I always thought Silver City's a neat town. A lot of history here, a lot of old buildings. This was definitely at one time an old west town. All right, we're waiting out here. We're gonna get some chow. All right, folks, this is our post hike meal right here in Silver City. Of course, you can't go wrong with chips and salsa. All right, what do you think so far? It's a cool little building, isn't it? it? Looks like it has a lot of history to it. Look at that tin ceiling up there. That's most likely the original ceiling from back when this place was built 100 years ago. 
Yes, sir. Going in. Lunch is coming out in a minute. First uh, meal, post hike meal. What do you guys think? It's a nice place. We're going to be chowing soon, huh? I'm yep, ready. all right. I'll have to show you some of the food then when it comes out, folks. All right, folks. Green chili cheeseburger. As you know, I've been on a goal to eat every green chili cheeseburger in the state at least once. So this is a new one for me. I'll let you know how it is. Roy got the combination platter, I think. Looks looking pretty good. You guys look like you got some good plow going here too. What'd you get? Normal cheeseburger. Oh, I got enchiladas. Nice. And then? A mushroom burger. Mushroom burger. So we're the burger brothers today. Yeah. Awesome. The fries are nice and tasty too, so. All right, so I'll get this camera out of everybody's face so we can start getting some chow going. All right, folks, the green chili cheeseburger, big hit. Roy seems pretty happy. He's gonna stab me with his fork again. But how's everybody else? How was it, guys? Good. Yep, thumbs up for me too. That's a dirty thumb. Backpacker's thumb. <laughs> this was 107 North Bullard, built in 1871 one of the town's first brick buildings. Now time to drive back to Albuquerque and return safely to our loved ones. All right guys, made it back. Roy and family are going in, I'm driving home. We're safe, everything's good. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Remember folks, life is beautiful if you know where to look. Keep your eyes, your heart, and your mind open. It just might lead you somewhere special. Thank you for watching the James Blackburn Experience. Please check out my channel for over 900 additional video adventures.